Hello guys, welcome to you. In this video, we are going to fix keyboard not working error in a Windows 11 PC or laptop. It is a very simple error and I give the multiple solution to fix this error. So let's go to the, our video. Our first method is very simple. Just go to your start, right click on your start and here just go to the device manager, just go to the device manager. Okay. In device manager, I just go to the center. Okay. In device manager, just expand keyboard, just expand keyboards and just select your keyboard. Just right click on your keyboard and just go to the update driver. Just click on the update driver. Here we find search automatic default drivers. It's search on the internet. So just click at here. And if it's fine, latest drivers for the, your keyboard, then just go to the install it. Just install the drivers. And if it is not found, then this kind of messages come. The best drivers for your device are already installed. Okay. So no update is available for the our keyboard so just go to the back the next option is next option is browse my computer for driver just click at here okay if you have any cd of your keyboard then just go to the browse and just install that drivers from that cd or from the your pc okay if this drivers is not available with your cd or the on your pc then just go to the let me pick up for latest available drivers on my computer just click at here just select that and just click on the next it is installed now just click on the close and just click on the yes just click on the yes and just restart your machine just restart your machine yes and restart your machine after restart just check your keyboard is working or not if it's not working then i give the another method another method is just go to the start right click on the start here just go to the device manager just click on the device manager in device manager just go to the keyboards just expand keyboards here we find or select the, our keyboard right click on it and just uninstall it just uninstall drive device uninstall device and restart your machine after restart it is automatically detect your drivers and install that drivers automatically that is the our solution just click at here uninstall device uninstall it just click on yes it's asked for restart so just restart your machine after restart is completed your drivers are automatically installed and just check your keyboard is working or not if not working then i give the third solution third solution is also very simple just go to the start right click on the start and here just click on the setting just click on the settings in setting just click on the accessibility just click on the accessibility in accessibility just scroll down and find keyboard just click on the keyboard here we find the on-screen keyboard we just on the our on-screen keyboard it is a virtual keyboard for the windows 11 just click at here and virtual keyboard is appear on your screen okay now just close it now just go to the start once again so i just move it to the here and i just go to the start and just go to the here okay and i just go to the start and just type run on my command just type run r u n run and just click on the run okay in run just type regi edit just type r e g t r e g e d i t just type r e g e d i t by using your mouse just use your mouse and just type it here and it is type in here okay now just i just minimize it and just click on the okay i just close it okay and just click on yes okay close it now here in we are in the computer in registry editor we just go to the h key local machine just go to the h key local machine just expand it now just go to the software system sorry just go to the system just go to the system in system just go to the current current control set just go to the current control set here just go to the services just go to the services in services just find i8 just find i8042 prt just find this i8042 prt just go to the here and here we find start just click on the start right click on the start and just go to the modify and here in value data just change it from 3 to 1 and just click on the ok just click on the ok now just click on the close now just right click on the start button or just click on the start button just through the power and restart your machine just restart your machine after machine is restart just go to the start and just type anything i'm just typing notepad my keyboard is now working 
and just type anything that you want our keyboard is now working so guys this is the simplest way to fix this simple problem so guys thank you for watching this video don't forget to like share comment on this video and don't forget to subscribe the channel thank you guys